Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and thank you for my uh, new and old subscribers. Today we're going to talk about this dendrobium hybrid and that is in bloom right now. Well, it's been bloom for a few days but they don't open all at the same time. As you can see, there's still bud in there. And I got it last year, March of 2019. And this is Dendrobium Yasuko Sugiyama Parade. Okay. And actually they didn't mark here it, that it has an award. It gained an uh, AM Award of Merit, which is uh, like 100 points from AOS or American Orchid Society it's very fragrant it's got that floral scent to me and um, yeah I if you compare it to uh, the Dendrobium Nobly Oriental Smile Fantasy um, it's kind of close to the color but this one has a darker velvety uh, lip it's very soft when you touch it very pretty and actually I have a dendrobium nobly oriental smile here fantasy that's also in bloom just to compare the color and I have an old, uh, another one of Oriental Smile that's changing color. Uh, this uh, outside petal turned orangey. So this one don't have that dark lip inside. It also has a velvety lip. So yeah, so this is a dendrobium hybrid, and so far, of com with my other no dendrobium nobilis, this ha gave me a big pseudobulbs. It's very uh, big and tall, and uh, yeah, as you can see, it got that nice stock of pseudobulbs. And then if you look in here at the bottom, it's got that tiny uh, pseudo bulb at near the root. But when it goes up, it becomes big. Yeah, I got a chubber once there too, but so far this one I think is the biggest one that it gave me. And as you can see, it puts a flower there in it in the pseudo bulbs itself yeah so i just want to share with you my uh, dendrobium parade that long name yasuko sugiyama parade very pretty it's a nice uh, addition to your dendrobiums and this one that's why it has an award because it's very pretty award from american orchid society oh um and um with watering i water it during uh summer when uh it feels dry i water it i don't have specific date sometimes i water it with the rest and uh, fertilize it with the rest of my orchid but when i feel like it's dry then i water it and during winter of course you need some winter chill and less watering during winter and with light i think i bring it here sometimes because it's just been a wee a year for me i bring it here like medium light here with air movement or under my uh under the tree there 
And so now that it's uh, putting out new bulbs and giving me big pseudo bulbs. And it's very tall, it needs support. As you can see, I have lava rocks to support the pot because the small pot alone will tip over. So, a very nice specimen orchid that, um, to add in your collection. And I thought I want to share it with you because it's so pretty. One of my favorite. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye now.